In this video, we'll be talking about how to configure the FT710 and FL Digi software so that they work together. In the previous video, we talked about how to configure for use with com uh, with uh, ham scope, and it works okay. But there are more features in FL Digi. But it's different setting it up than it is uh, ham scope. So if you need more information on the radio setup, there's a more detailed description of what needs to be done on the previous video, but we'll briefly review, review it here. To begin with, there's some settings that need to be made on the radio. First, well, let's go to the menu and just look at it. First, you need to take your RF power and turn it down to about 50 watts. We'll look at that in a moment. But the main thing to do to get this to work is we go to radio settings, click on mode PSK data, and mod source needs to be USB if you're using a USB cable. And RPTT Select needs to be DTR. Those are required settings uh, that I have had to make in order to get my computer to work with the software and the radio. So your mileage may vary, but this has been working for me. So let's go back. One other thing that you have to do is we need to go to the mode that we'll be using and select PSK. Also, you set to the frequency of uh, PSK that you will be using. And, oh, the one other thing is you need to adjust RF power down to 50 watts or less. This is using the function knob after you set it to where the function knob will adjust your RF power. So now let's look at the software and see how it's configured. So what you can see here is to get this to work, this is the configuration that has to be made in FL Digi, that, or that I had to make anyway. The first thing is I had to set the device to COM6. In the previous video, I show how to look up what the COM port will be on your computer. The, in the box that's labeled hardware push to talk device, I had to put a check mark beside use separate serial port PTT. And then also I had to select use DTR. Those are the only settings that would work with my radio. I tried to use uh, some other things that were radio specific, such as this right here where you select the Yezu FT710 drop down box, but that would not operate with my current setup. So again, you may have success with it, but I did not have any success. What I had to do was what I have right here in configuration, which was COM6, use separate serial port PTT, and use DTR. And when I did that, I was able to actually transmit when uh, I click the transmit receive button, which you see right here on the software screen. So that's how it works for me. For more details on the computer setup and the radio setup, you can look at the previous video. I think it's the first six minutes of the previous video on how to set up Hamscope to get more information on that. I did not want to repeat that in this video, but these were the options that I had to set in FL Digi to get it to work because if I tried any of the other settings, it would either not transmit at all or it would begin to transmit and would never release. It would stay stuck in transmit. So again, 
to get it to work. In my case, you would go to, we had to, I had to go to configure, config dialog. Well, let's try again. Configure, config dialog. Go to the rig control section, hardware PTT, and then populate the screen as we looked at right here. COM6, use separate serial port PTT, and use DTR. Oh, you also need to click the initialize button, button after doing that, and everything will function. And I'll give you an example here. So, to do a test, we just do this test, KQ4VGE. And when I click on the transmit button here, you can look over here and see that the busy transmit light has illuminated. And you just turn it off by clicking that button again. And you can see it goes off. So we successfully sent a test message across the... Uh, radio so hope that helps somebody and if it does leave a comment below thanks and have a good one